Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm here at Montclair State University in the Exercise Science Lab to show you how to use the Monarch Arm Ergometer 881. All right, first thing you want to do is set up the arm ergometer in the location you want it, want it to be in. All right, so if you kind of grab the handle and pull it back onto its wheels, it's very easy to move around on a tabletop. If you're going to be doing seated arm ergometry, just make sure that the seat you're using doesn't have any wheels on it. It's not going to move around and it's a nice, stable, solid seat that's not going to uh, sort of wiggle or crack or break in any way underneath the weight of the individual. So pull your chair right up to the table, make sure that it's square with the arm ergometer and make sure that the arm ergometer is set up so that the, uh, the axle of the arm ergometer is approximately at the level of the shoulder or just below that. All right, so obviously you can adjust the type of table or the height of the table if you're, you have an adjustable table in order to do that, but you can also adjust the height of the axle on the arm ergometer itself. All right, so to do that, there's a little wrench on the front of the arm ergometer that you take off and there's a, on the sort of the handle part of the wrench, there is um, a, a little piece that will fit onto the, the bolts of the arm ergometer uh, hand pieces. All right, so simply put it on there and loosen it up and that's gonna allow you to sort of shift to a, a different angle of the arm pieces and you're gonna have to do this um, one side at a time because they adjust differently on each side. So. Make sure that you try to have the arms uh, at the same level on both sides. So there's a, a scale on both sides that you can use in order to estimate this. In order to adjust the resistance of the exercise, there's a little knob on the bottom of the front of the arm ergometer that can adjust to the right to make it harder or left to make it easier. And so when you're doing this, you want to make sure that the person is actually pedaling while you're adjusting the, the resistance or it's not going to show up on the, um, the little resistance scale that's on the front of the device. All right? So the resistance scale only shows you the resistance if the person's actually pedaling the device. In order for the scale on the arm ergometer to be correct for the power wattage that you're outputting, you need to be pedaling at about 50 RPMs. If you're not pedaling at 50 RPMs, it's not going to be accurate. There is a little conversion chart at the bottom of the arm ergometer that helps you to convert at different RPMs, what the different uh, uh, resistances are, and then you can simply convert those values to watts if you want to do that. So that was a quick overview on how to use the Monarch Arm Ergometer Model 881. So if you have any questions, you can put those in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you on those. Um, otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.